everybody, it's Amanda. Um, this is my, I believe it's fourth week post-op update. Um, I'm a little late, always late, unfortunately, because <laughs> I work the days that I'm supposed to do the thing. You hear a little kitten going crazy in the background. Um, yeah, so I weighed myself today at the gym because for some reason my scale one minute it'll say 315, then it'll say 310, then it'll say 324, and then it'll go back down. So I was just like, you know what, I'm going to go by the gym scale because, I uh, <laughs> it's better than mine because it keeps saying, you know, the consistently same thing. So I weighed myself today and I'm 307. So that is 60 pounds down. So I'm all excited about that. Um, I have no energy whatsoever. I uh, I still go to the gym and stuff, you know, I do what I have to do, um, but I just, I have no energy. And then after I finish eating, I just want to go to sleep. That's all I want to do, go to sleep. And uh, yeah, so I'm tired of that. And the, it's, I, I don't, it's, it's normally just right after I finish eating. I just get really, really, really tired. And then like an hour after that, I'm fine. So I don't know if it's my whole body burning energy to digest the food that I got or or what. But I'm just always, always, always tired now. I just, it drives me nuts. These kittens are so cute. <laughs> They're actually going to a pet shop in next week. I have three of them. They're so adorable, but I can't wait to get rid of them. Every time I go to take my cat to get fixed, she gets pregnant again, so... I never have good time and I guess that and I work 70 hours a week so I mean it's it's kind of hard to you know do everything but so that's my only thing about being really tired um, I'm at a total loss for 60 pounds um, work is going good I'm back to 70 hours a week now and you know I, I can tell somewhat about the weight loss like I can see it in my face a little bit and some clothes are pretty loose. Like, I wore a pair of pants the other day that I have not been, made, been able to put on in almost three years. And, yeah. I was pretty happy about that. Um, let's see what else. I haven't really tried anything else on because I, I want to wait. But then I'm like, 60 pounds. Damn. Do you know I haven't weighed this much in almost four years since I've moved to this state? I mean, I just... So it's like, wow, you know, <laughs> I'm excited about it. But then it's like, okay, I lost this 60 pounds. How long is it going to take me to lose 100? Excuse me. How long is it going to take me to lose 100? You know. But I can't rush it. I can't complain. It's, it's only been... Like, I've been doing the weight loss for, like, a month and a half now. So, 60 pounds in six weeks, I think that's pretty freaking awesome, you know. But then it's like, damn, you know, I had the surgery. Come on, let's, let's, you know, speed things up a little bit. But, I mean, that's in a month, you know. It'd be unrealistic for me to think I can lose 100 in a month. I'm sorry, I keep watching these kittens, this one kitten it just like lays on its back and kicks its legs like when it's fighting, so you know she's going to be dominant, and she's a Maine Coon, she's adorable, but anyway, that's besides the point on here, um, food is going good, I'm still on a soft food protein diet, I, I tried my hardest to, to, um, get my liquids in, but it's still, Water is not sitting with me right. For some reason, when I try to drink water, it just, I feel it just sitting in my chest and it doesn't want to move down. And I get this tight pain, like, like it all rushes to one spot and the spot is so tight that it can't get through. And then you could feel it slowly going through. But as to where when I'm drinking milk and stuff, it just goes down smooth. So I've been making sure I drink a, a glass of milk in between each meal, you know, so this way I'm at least getting three cups of fluid in. And then it's protein too. Yeah, it's some calories, but you need to eat in order to lose. So, I'm not really, you know, my caloric values is pretty low, you know, but anyway, that's about it. Mm, 
yeah, that's it. So I hope everybody has had a good week and everybody's having, you know, good luck on their weight loss. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.